hello guys good afternoon happy sunday i don't even know what day it is anymore because i've just been like cocooned in my place and watching downtown abbey i finally finished the season over a weekend that's why i mean i don't really like to watch tv because i do have an obsessive personality once i start something i just cannot let it go i have to finish it i need to find out everything that happens which is why i can't really watch shows that are like that are like currently going and then i have to wait next week i just cannot do that that's not me it drives me mad i'm not trying to get sucked into another series right now i'm just going to lay off and focus on work because i have not been focused on work as much as i should because really i just haven't been feeling too well i'm just feeling a little bit tired and you know i have chronic back pain um because of my chest and stuff so my back pain has been Kind of like, you know, really bad and stuff. So I'm just, you know, trying to rest and do all that stuff. And I have so much cleaning to do. My house is just such a mess. I just have some projects that are like hanging over my head. And then I want to get them done. I didn't even film anything this week at all. Typically, I try to film like three YouTube videos a week. And I don't really have anything lined up, to be quite honest, to go out there. So that's that. <laughs> That's why women need to rest, honestly. Like, we need to be taken care of and rest. Um, <laughs> and just enjoy your life. Because we need it. We need it much more. Um, we shouldn't have to work all the time. I don't know. At least that's the path that I'm on. <laughs> um, I'm going to make dinner, I would say. It's about 3 like 333 as I've just been saying all the angel numbers like every time I look at my phone it's 222 333 444 555 I've just been seeing all the numbers all the time I don't know maybe I'm on the brink of something good maybe it's the universe telling me I am on the right path but um you know I guess I'm happy I guess we'll see where where it goes and I was thinking about getting the Tesla for my birthday but I've just been reading some reviews online from kind of like people that I kind of like, you know, admire and have some trust in. And the reviews haven't been good. And so now I'm kind of like been thinking if that even, you know, the right decision. Should I really get one? As much as I love the car because it just feels like a spaceship. I just love that, you know, I could see everything when I'm driving. But, you know, I've just been questioning if it's the right car for me so i don't know i think i'm just gonna lay off the car for now because honestly not having a car is so good for my wallet because if i had a car i'll just be out and shopping all the time which is not the best thing although i've just been enjoying really staying in the house too but i know if i had a car i'll just be in all type of business just like you know driving um places looking for things because again i have so much adventure in me but i kind of like it because when i'm in the house it really sent me to another world it kind of like took me back almost to my childhood when i used to dream a lot so i guess i, I kind of like took me back to those times where i'm just like dreaming about the life that i used to dream of as a little kid it's kind of like taking me back to those times but uh, it's been fun but i need to get out of it i am going to make cacio e pepe which is my favorite food my favorite probably italian dish last time i tried to make it it was a fail i think i missed something in the recipe but yesterday i made it and oh my goodness it was the most delicious thing i've made in a while and i did not realize how easy it was to make cacio e pepe so maybe I will show you how I make mine, but I just found a recipe on YouTube and I made it and oh my goodness, guys, I cannot tell you. But I truly wish that I could eat pasta every day and never gain a pound. Let's go make food. I need to do some cleaning. Vanessa's coming down Saturday and I don't know if I can wait this long to clean the house, to be quite honest. I do my spring, I need to do my spring cleaning, but I'm gonna have to wait for her because it's kind of like a tradition. She helps me out, you know, to spring clean and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to wait, but I need to get rid of those boxes that are here. Um, I don't know, maybe I need to give them to my mom because she's always looking for boxes. Such a hoarder. 
Okay guys, I thought that I, I know I haven't left. Instead, I was like, let me show you these things that I got. So I've been looking for more kind of like vintage looking tapers or candles. And I wanted these. I saw these actually on Anthropology. They were a little bit spicy. I think it was like $38 for two of them. And I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about spending, you know, almost 40 bucks. So I was looking online to find the similar ones. They're kind of like the rope desi um, design, as you can see here. I think they just look so cool, so vintage. So I found these on World Market and they were like $5, $4.99 for two of them so i got a couple of packs i'm actually gonna order some more i'm just gonna order like a bunch of them i ordered like a candelabra candlestick so i'm waiting for those to come and then i saw these so i was like oh let me get this instead um not instead that's like let me get this one as well and see those are like the rib um tapers also in ivory um, these are a little bit shorter than i was expecting i thought they would be the same size but these are like a little thicker but for the bottom where it goes it the size should fit i want two candelabra candles candle holders to be on, on each side of the mirror um and then i was looking for some vintage looking ones and i finally found a pair on etsy um they're like 140 bucks but i thought they were worth it but i really really like this um of course i prefer the rope one i think this one is a lot cooler but i also love the rib one there you go, now you can see it a little bit more. It's really, really cool. And the lovely team from Evelum emailed me. They wanted to send me some of their best seller and reward um, and award winning products to try. And I can tell you, I've been dying to try this actually. Not the mask, the cleanser. I've heard so many people talk about this. I've always wanted to try it. So I was very, very happy that they sent this to me like this is a cult favorite for a lot of people this cleanser is to remove your makeup and stuff it smells very fresh and like you know healthy and green and stuff like that so i cannot wait the day where i dip my finger into this and then they also sent me the rescue mask which was very lovely of them <laughs> sorry guys there was water in there it smells of clay i can't even show you because the water residue in there um so this is a mask that is supposed to kind of like repair it does come with a little stick so you can actually um take it so it's a honey infused carolyn clay i've been very into clay mask as of late because they kind of like go in and get it to the pores and remove all the dirt and all the gunk that's in your skin which is why the detox mask mask from Caudalie is one of my favorite masks ever and they also sent me this kiss mix i haven't opened this yet although you guys know i've been using the same lip thing for like years and years i have yet to find something that can compete with the rosebud salves this is not bad um but i'll update you and then they also sent me the salicylic acid plus tea tree. I love anything with salicylic acid, especially if you like myself, you suffer from hyperpigmentation, dark spots. It's called the Dyna Spot. Mmm, very cool. So I can't wait to try this. Catchword paper is done. I think yesterday was a lot better. It's so funny. The first time, I don't know what it is, but the first time I make something, it's usually the best one that I always make. I don't know if it's because I have like, you know, low expectation of, you know, the results that I'll just do it like, oh, you know, let's see how this goes. 
All right, I'm gonna eat. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, here's our banana bread. It's way too sweet, and I don't think the bottom is cooked. Although I use a toothpick to check it, and yeah, so I need to find my recipe because this recipe something is off, or maybe it's me that's off. But you know, we will try again. All right, guys, I've made some tea, and now after I drank a little bit of it, I was like, let me go and check to see if it expired because I bought the tea in Paris like two years ago. So, I mean, it was be expired, I don't know. This tea, I don't know, everyone loves it. Honestly, the taste just put me off. Um, I don't know, I think it because it probably reminds me of something of when I was a child. But the thing is, I like to keep things or we try them because I like to think that, you know, taste evolves. I mean, like they say, every seven years, your palate, I don't know, get a cleanse or whatever. So some things you may have been allergic to or you may have not liked. Now all of a sudden you can eat them, which is probably true, like broccoli. Broccoli one of those things for me. I never thought I would ever eat broccoli in my life. But here I am now. I really, really like the vegetable. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But I'm going to go fetch myself some wine. The other day I saw my mom with a bunch of like vintage books like this i haven't read books like this since i was a child i used to get lost in books like this um but i haven't read one of those in a while so she has three books and i was like oh let me she had them for my niece but my niece can be reading stuff like that yet so i was like let me have them i'll read them and then i'll pass it on my i can't wait to have a library i want to have a library in my house like strictly for books you know so i cannot wait for that it's so funny when i was a child like being an author or really a writer i would say was one of my dreams good morning guys just made myself a cup of coffee it's a little later than i'd like to but you know it's better than what i've been waking up to what is this but I wanted to remind you how much I love those Enco, the pure collagen. This is the um, caramel flavor. Is this the caramel? Oh wow, I thought that was caramel. Interesting. I've been using just a regular one this whole time. Oh, this is the one I'm supposed to be using. Wow. You see how much I don't pay attention? I've been using this for weeks. You know what it is? <sighs> My cleaning person. She, you know, she usually cleans around here, and then she must have swapped it, and I didn't realize. No wonder. I love this for um, when I make like a smoothie or something. But this is the creamer. That's the one I love in my coffee. And I'm telling you, since introducing collagen to my routine, I cannot tell you how much my hair's gone, my nails, how much my skin is looking so much better. But especially my hair, it's where I've seen the biggest difference. I'm not even a hairy person. And now I do find myself like shaving all the time, which is ridiculous. And my edges has never looked so full. Hello guys, happy Monday, the 22nd. I can't believe it. It's so funny. My birthday is probably in a week or so. And it always kind of like creeps up on me. I, I'm always thinking, oh, you know, it's only a month away. Next thing you know it's here and then i've got no plans but i've kind of like done celebrating birthdays to be quite honest my birthdays since i was little have always been like like good celebration i wouldn't say big 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 celebration but in my eyes i've always been celebration for as long as i can remember my mom always make me a party like always like all of us always have a party we always have cake Up until a point i think i was probably 25 or so i've always had a birthday party but after that i've decided actually i don't really like spending my birthdays with people like that maybe just when one of two people even then i don't like it i think my birthday um over the years i've just kind of like been reserved for me i'm like this is a day where i get to reflect on my life and think about where i want to go and also kind of like say thank you to myself for how far i've come what i've learned how much i've grown and how much more i need to go going forward so it's kind of like a day of reflection for me 
and honestly i do not like to be around people on my birthday these days not anymore like i said i think it's a sacred day for me it's a day that i was born into this world and i think it should just be just between me and the thing is i'm so secure in myself not a lot of things that i don't feel the need for um and attention is one of them <laughs> i wanted to show you i don't even know how i got to talk on my birthday i turned on this camera to show you my dress but here we are um this is a dress that i got from amazon it's beautiful i love it it's yellow of course i was expecting it to be a little bit longer to be quite honest i can't tell if i'm disappointed but i would have liked if it was a little bit longer i love midi dresses although this is a midi length but it's just right below my knees um this is the only color that i think that i wanted they do have it in the pinkish one but i don't think i want the pink i think i like this one better so I'll just keep it but what I want to have more it's kind of like um nightgowns I want to have more nightgowns I did to my wardrobe I ordered one from cottage core kind of like almost Bridgerton vibe you know like the return of the Victorian kind of like dressing gown not dressing gown nightgown is coming back into life and I love it because that's what I wore to bed as a kid I also wanted to tell you about my makeup today as you can see my eyebrows has been looking really like really good as of late it's not as strong as it used to be you guys complain so much although i love the strong look i don't know what's your problem <laughs> but i love a strong brow but i did see sometime on camera for some reason adrius made it look a thousand times um stronger than it was in real life so i had gone back to crayon not crayon pencils um, and I've just been using the benefit brow setter thing and it's like very wet so when I brush it it kind of like removes some of the kind of like harshness from it and I love it on my eyebrows I use Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in brown and on my eyelids I am using the blue mercury refresh set palette thingy that I received and um, and Warren is the palette 1111. It's kind of like on the pinky side. It's like one of the most beautiful palettes out there. It's so, so pretty. The eyeshadows are a little like wet and sticky, which I kind of love because it just gives me such a kind of like a sultry look. And on my lip, I have Chantecaille Lip Gloss and Modern is the color. And I do have a nude lipstick underneath it, which is Estee Lauder number 46. And of course, my foundation is the Soft Matte by NARS and my a concealer is also soft matte by nars i love that concealer because the highlight it provides as you can see here i am loving that highlight typically i love my chanel because it's very subtle and natural but lately i'm like give me a little bit of highlight honey i love it so that's my makeup for today my necklace is from Troopy. i've had this necklace for like over a year now the color has changed a little bit so i need to find like a real gold pearl necklace because i hate color changing on things it's so funny since i was a baby i've always been very high into jewelry and that's how i was brought up and um yeah as you could see i think the the wash the color is still it's still there a little bit but naturally my face is lighter than my neck i would say I think I showed you yesterday when I didn't have any makeup on how my face is different color. It's lighter than my neck because people always think to mention that, oh, yep, you know, your foundation is off. No, sweetie. Um, and even even then, I like my face looking a little bit lighter than my neck. It doesn't bother me. I don't even notice it. Um, and I don't understand why people are so fixated on that. Like, I don't even care for it. And you shouldn't either. And last night I was reading the book and it really, really, it was so, so good. It was up until, I was up until like three o'clock. I could not put the book down. It's the war that saved me. And the situation kind of like almost parallel, I would say, to myself. And, and I would say the pandemic, you know, like when you think about the pandemic or when you think about a war going on you think it's like the most terrible thing but at the same time you don't realize how many other people has been freed from this kind of events because themselves they've been through war um in a way so that's why when things happen you know although they may be terrible 
but sometimes you don't understand how many people has been freed from it in like in a way so it's this book the war that saved my life it's such a great book it actually again took me back to my childhood to be holding a book like this it those are like the same books that i used to read back then and it made me realize how much more i identified with like us and english culture is because reading books back when i was a child they were mostly based in the us and england and as much french as i am as i have in me in terms of fashion and decor i resonate more with kind of like us and english culture um because your mind is powerful you may not be you know you may not have gone somewhere physically but you can go there in your mind and <laughs> Like your mind is very very powerful it's just like so crazy to me so um, actually i made a pact with myself i made a goal for myself when i went to london eight years ago was it eight years ago yeah, yeah. that i would move to london in 2020 last year or the year that i said i would move to london and you know it didn't happen obviously because when i was trying to do the paperwork and everything it just seemed such like like an extensive and very hard process so i kind of like gave up on my plan to kind of like move there and then i just tell the universe you know if it happens it happened yeah i wouldn't mind for it to to happen mm. i wanted to quickly share this with you i forgot you guys know last year i was using the dark spot no more i've been using it for over a year now and recently i started using the kills correcting I'm not gonna lie to you guys you guys know i am very honest when it comes to products i must say i think this one is more effective the dark spot no more from dr brent i think it's more effective than the one from kills this one i think like i see results a lot faster the dark spot goes away a lot faster um i love the kills one it's really really good and i think it's taking a little bit of time i think it took me about like three to four weeks to see a difference with this it was more um like instant like within a week or like a few days my dark spots went away a lot faster um so i introduced this to vanessa vanessa suffered from really really like horrible acne like she's come such a long way oh my goodness such such a long way and um i i think at once i had like two bottles of this so i gave her one and it just made the biggest difference I highly recommend both honestly um so your experience would be different you know you could find out the kills works better for you um but i think this one is more efficient but i ordered some stuff from belfix you guys know i've worked with belfix for a very long time and i ordered myself some stuff that i wanted um let me show you what they are when i saw this headband i had to have it it's just like the lace this one is called the luxe and lace knotted headband it's just like so so pretty um that is a headband that i think i can wear instead of wearing a hat it's just like so classic you see and i love this too this one is called the lace bejeweled head wrap and again to like go to a party like that is so pretty look at this I can wear it like that or I can even wear it like this too like if I do like a 1920 and then you know spring is here so you know floral we need that so this is the floral wildflowers knotted headband which is the one that I'm probably gonna be wearing because this one I don't think this one goes really well oh this is so cool okay, and this is the wildflowers and I love a good floral headband Oh, this is so cute. I'm actually going to wear this today. Although I feel like this one could go with my outfit. But I feel like this one is too dressy. And what I love, the end, look at on the inside. The inside has a lot of flower ones. So what I'm going to do now, I went outside. It seems really, really nice out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, let me leave this out because I'm going to wear this. I'm going to set up a picnic. So I'm going to shoot some stuff in the back because it's really really nice out i'm gonna lift this out because i'm going to film a haul so i may as well 
and just put it in the hole. You guys, so I'm doing this for this picnic shoot. I'm gonna cut it, but so far I love it. I felt like I bought one more of the perfumes. I hope I bought all of them. But but yeah, this is all the work that goes into doing a shoot and of course being creative is just getting the idea and doing things. So it's so beautiful, isn't it? And I love the flowers because they kind of match the perfume over here. But I feel like I should put the flowers like right here so that way we can see the basket and now let's get shooting I have my camera right here and I've got the little umbrella let's go all right guys guess what in the middle of shooting camera died I didn't want to run to the house and get some stuff but I don't want to leave all my stuff here but I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm just gonna pack um I'm gonna pack the camera and the perfumes not that I think anyone would touch anything to be quite honest it's very safe around here everyone seems very trusting but you know you never know all right guys I am back from shooting I've turned my house upside down you do not want to see at all all the stuff that I have going on now and I haven't eaten lunch yet so what I'm gonna do is I am going to do that now um I don't really have anything to eat so what I'm actually gonna eat is the papayas over here so as much as some of you hate papayas I'm gonna eat them oh let me show you guys so I bought I wanted to replace my glasses because not only like my glasses that I drink water in because I wanted some vintage ones and I ordered these from the same vintage shop on Etsy she said those would be really good for she actually sent me a note her notes are very personalized which I admire when I first bought the other cook glasses she was like, oh, these are classic Libby glasses. You know, the interlude pattern is simply elegant. Make many happy stories while using these. Happy sipping. For these, when I ordered these, what I had in mind was to drink water. Because, um, again, I wanted some vintage glasses to drink water. And this one, she said, many thanks for your repeat business. Much appreciated. These glasses are fabulous. I've never seen the pattern before. They would be great for lemonade and iced tea or sangria glasses enjoy happy spring ember oh, she's just the loveliest thank you i love like when i ordered um things and people send me a note like i love written notes so much it's so funny after all as much as i try to be like a materialistic person it's just not really in my nature i feel like when someone takes the time to find out what you like and then they give you something that you know they know that you would like I don't know that's just more important to me than a Chanel or a Gucci bag I mean I wouldn't mind on those but I don't know these things don't make me happy to be quite honest experiences make me happy I don't know we call it creme in Haiti so you you make the juice with whatever fruits you want and then they used to have those little plastic bags and then you put them in the freezer and then they turn into cream <laughs> And I think that's why I can't eat the ice cream over here. Because it's too plasticky and sugary. I'm like, I want to taste the real food. Which is why I prefer sorbet and um, gelato. But... There it is. Okay, guys. I'm still waiting for my mom to pick me up it's about to be five o'clock but i really wanted to show you something really really cool um i think i've shared with you guys ishakti is one of the website that i really really like and i'm ordering a dress from them and i want to show you the process to see how you can customize it which i absolutely love so i picked out a dress which is this dress this is how it comes but then again, I can customize it to my liking. So I could do a high v-neck if I want to. 
a low v-neck as you can see it's changing every time I a wide v-neck a deep V a split scoop a split boat I'm gonna do a deep v-neck although I really like the jewel neck but typically those don't really good, um, look that good on me um, so I'm gonna go with the the white one mm, the white one will look good actually because I love my clavicle I love showing that but I just prefer a deep V and then for the sleeves it's long so I'm gonna do elbow length because elbow is my favorite you know that three-quarter mm -mm, that's too long and then I can get the matching mask if I wanted to although I feel like masks are gonna be like a thing of the past very soon so I'm gonna do a size 4 I think that's the one that I did last time it's really 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 cool so I'm gonna look at the dresses to see what else I can buy I really love this dress but it's a lot of print for me I've only something I've always wanted something like that so I thought I would get that I love this because there is actually um, something that I want to recreate it it's actually a dress like this so I think I'm gonna get that one as well this is the dress Audrey was wearing I don't know why the camera is looking like this so as you can see here I want I've always wanted to recreate that look so so I've always wanted to recreate that look for the longest time so when I see this dress, it kind of like remind me of that a little bit. So I think I'm going to do the... Although it would look so good in the v-neck though. But I think I want the slit boot. And as far as... Okay, so this is the one that I want. I want the sleeves. No, I can't do the deep V. I can do regular V though. But I think I want to keep the... And that's the length that I want. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure now everything is the same standard size, 5'3, split boot. Alright, I'm ready to check out. I'm so so excited. Okay, guys, the mother and I we are at Whole Foods. I came here to get pasta, my favorite Sajano, and milk because I'm about to run out of milk. And then I'll see some other knickknacks that I need. My favorite section, the fish section. I just got some swordfish, my favorite. And the Chilean sea bass is looking rather attractive. So I'm getting a little bit of that as well. All right, guys, I am back from Whole Foods and Home Goods. All right, <laughs> that rhymed there. And I quickly wanted to do a Whole, Food, Whole Foods haul. So I can show you what I typically get from Whole Foods. My, my house is a mess, please forgive me. As I said, my cleaning person did not come today. She's coming tomorrow. And also, I kind of like move everything around so I can, um, because I did like a picnic so I can get like, create some content for you guys. So that's where we are. And I'm gonna start with home goods first. And I uh, like to put some of the stuff. So what I wanted was a cushion to, um, for when I do picnic outside and then I feel like it would be nice to have a cushion so and then last week or two weeks ago when I was at home goods and then I saw these I was like these would be perfect actually for a picnic and then this is the one that I end up with I was gonna get the flower one but I was like that is so expect so expected of me to always go for the flower um, so I just thought this would be perfect for when I do picnics and the other thing that I got I love the stuff that I put my coffee in but the thing is, it's not as cool as I would like it to be. I want something that's more like vintage and stuff like that. And when I saw this pot from Home Goods, I had to have it. So I thought this would be perfect. Ooh. What I typically do is, is remove that plastic thing because it's like so annoying. I know it's supposed to make it easier. I mean, uh, to kind of like protect it a little bit, but I don't like it. The only problem is I won't be able to see my coffee, but it's going to look a lot more chic. So this is the what I have now where I put my coffee. So I can't believe my luck when I walked into Home Goods and saw this. It was the first thing that I saw. Literally, 
just the other day i was searching for some inspiration from from audrey hepburn i was like i wonder what audrey used to eat i mean although there's like books about it that i can read but i wanted something where i can see like the visual of like maybe her house her cooking and everything and you wouldn't believe that i walked into home goods it's the title it's exactly what i searched into google last week audrey at home i was like wow it's just so amazing when you when you put like an intention not even an intention when you search for something on the internet and kind of like just put something out there and then the universe reciprocate with you and just give you what you need um so yeah i could not believe it so memories of my mother's kitchen of recipes photographs and personal stories it's so funny she's making pasta there and guess what i'm cooking tonight pastas and of course look at her with her flower basket so i don't know i think it's vish vicious soas it's so funny they were um doing something wow it's the same story in downtown abbey with that chef in Wisconsin, new york wait a minute i didn't feel the bottom part so another problem that i've been running into i don't have a pot to make pasta the last one that i had was a green one also that matches my little one and i think i left it at my previous apartment when i moved out and then i went to kind of like home goods to look i was actually going to order it from amazon but i just happened to go to you know home goods today because the whole foods is right next to home goods so it's like perfect and that home goods is really good it's so funny it says country chicken i mean country kitchen and i just feel like i'm going back to my country life and at home goods actually i didn't talk about it so this is it it's just so pretty it's like in this beautiful green which the light is kind of like messing up but it's beautiful i assure you maybe i'll show you in the morning and i also get these um these are like props i wouldn't eat those to be quite honest because i'm very i'm a snob when it comes to sweets when it comes to sweet if it's not from a place that warrants that attention i wouldn't waste my calories on any sweets i'm that type of person i won't eat any chocolate i won't eat any cake for you um it's just i just think my calories are too precious for me to waste it on something that is just like not top level i also wanted to have some herbal tea this one says stress sos oh with marshmallow and ashwagandha that's perfect because one thing that i like to add to my routine every night is a cup of tea so and i'm gonna make cashew pepe which i've already shown you how to make it so i won't do that and now let's move on to whole foods i cannot go grocery shopping without getting flowers um it's just it's impossible like i love flowers so much so i like to get tuscan style bread which i can find at regman but i didn't go to regman today and I didn't want to you know go to two places and nowadays i'm very lazy when it comes to running errands i just want everything in one spot i could just go in each spot and then get out and of course i got my favorite pasta which is the sajano the spaghetti this is the best pasta i'm telling you if you go to whole foods you have to get this pasta because if you don't i'm gonna fight you and when you eat this pasta you just could it's gonna take you back to italy you're just gonna feel like you're just sitting outside a restaurant in italy and just eating pasta and it's the best one. Oh my goodness i am so obsessed as you can see it's pretty spicy it's actually like seven bucks or eight bucks which is up there but if it's good hey and this lasts quite a bit especially if you're just cooking for one um even if you're cooking for two i think you know it just does last and of course my second bag i got chilean sea bass i also got swordfish which i will show you what it looks like three fish that i would recommend swordfish swordfish tastes just like meat it looks just like a piece of steak it's called the steak of the ocean for a reason it tastes just like like it although i don't even like steak but swordfish is just amazing it's so fresh and it's so so easy and it's very rarely that they are farm raised which is something that i love i don't eat any type of fish that is farm raised i mean unless i'm out if i'm at a restaurant i can control it but if i'm cooking it i can control it and i would not do and even then i try to order fish that are like normally you would never that would never be in a farm that are always wild caught um caught yeah 
And the second one is tuna. Tuna is just like swordfish. It just looks like a piece of steak. It's red, just like a piece of steak. It tastes the same. I love tuna. It's one of my favorite fish. And then the third one, which is probably my number one favorite, yeah. Um, it's white fish. It's Brenzino. Brenzino, once you taste Brenzino, you will never go back. Like, it's just so amazing. It's so delicious. But I've eaten so much Brenzino since I moved up here. I'm kind of like a little bit sick of it, so I need a break. So now I'm just eating swordfish and even tuna i'm a little sick of tuna right now because i've been eating a lot of tuna i'm like i can't take it right now i need a break so swordfish it is and then i guess we'll be moving on to chilean sea bass the number one re well not number one the number two reason is milk you guys know i cannot live without my oatly last time i went there was only two left and i just grabbed them so fast today there was only two left and then i looked at the guy and the guy they always have like a guy like walking in the background in the fridge and i'm like hey um, do you have any more of this? I was like, let me check for you. They checked. There was only one more. So I took the last three. Um, barista edition. This is the best oat milk out there. It's Oatly, the barista edition. Once you try this, you will never go back. Hey guys, this is a sea bass over here. As you can see, it just looked marvelous. And this is the, um, swordfish. I don't think I'm having any of the swordfish tonight. Although I'm tempted to just have a little sliver of it. Maybe I'll just have a little piece because I just feel like the catcher paper is already heavy i don't even need anything to eat with it quite honestly but i've just been craving fish so um, i cannot wait for that sea bass so i usually let my fish kind of like go into like a little warm water with lemon or lime whatever i have and then vinegar i already added the vinegar to the water and then i just let it just like in the water we call it trempe or soak that's what i was looking for um for like a minute or two and then it's time to marinate. This is what I use for my spices. This is the best little garlic salt thing from Trader Joe's. If you don't use this, you need it in your life. And of course, my mother made me her, you know, famous Haitian seasoning. I already have a video on this. If you're looking for this, this seasoning, you can literally add it on everything that you're making. Rice, it doesn't matter what you're making. Um, you can add it to it. And then also some garlic powder because... I just hate cutting garlic to be quite honest. Onions and like garlic are two things that I hate cutting. Um, it's one thing that I would rather just, you know, buy already cut, but which is why I just have this powder one. So, okay guys, dinner is served. I got my fish over here. I can't wait to try the sea bass. Maybe I should try it with you on camera. I know, I'm still gonna put some more cheese on my pasta because I made a mistake. I threw out all the water before i was able to put some on the pasta and i think it still tastes fine and i already put the flowers over here because the mess in the living room because i have like so many campaigns that i'm working on which is why second bedroom is very essential um you know to have as a you know office space So delicious honestly i can't believe that i thought cacio pepe was so difficult to make it's so easy to make like one of the easiest dishes ever i love this little fish plate it's so cool wow i should have just bought that whole piece and i told the guy at the whole foods too i was like am i going to regret that i did not take this whole little piece he said probably but there's always tomorrow it's like i'm not even interested in the pasta anymore because the sea bass is just so good i'm just kicking myself right now i did not take the whole piece it wasn't even that big to begin with all right i'm gonna finish eating and then and then I'm gonna jump in the shower quickly. Take a really nice shower. And then I'm gonna come back in the kitchen, make some tea, and have some supper.